Did you know that over 90% of digital ad buys in the US are now programmatic? Hey, I'm Raphael from AppsFly and in this video, I'll guide you through what programmatic advertising is all about and how you can use it to drive growth for your app. So first, you should know that programmatic advertising is the automated buying and selling of digital ad space. It helps advertisers get in front of their ideal audience while publishers maximize revenue from their ad space or inventory. Deals are done in real time using AI and machine learning to find the best match. I've already mentioned that over 90% of US digital advertising is programmatic, so let's look at why it's so popular. Firstly, programmatic advertising is really efficient. It's all done automatically in the blink of an eye and that means lower costs. Most programmatic deals use a CPM. That's where advertisers pay a set price for 1,000 impressions of their ad. Another benefit is reach. Programmatic advertising can be used on apps, websites, audio channels, and even out-of-home displays. Finally, you get great transparency and measurement, so you can optimize performance and stay on budget. But how exactly does this all work? Don't worry, I'll keep it as simple as possible. We can break down the programmatic ecosystem into the demand side and the supply side. On the demand side, you have advertisers looking to buy ad space for their campaigns to reach their target audience on ad networks. The supply side is the publishers, app or website owners with inventory to sell. Publisher ad networks gather the available inventory so it can be matched to the right advertiser. The publisher ad network connects to a supply side platform to put the available impressions up for auction. Meanwhile, the advertiser ad network connects to a demand side platform or DSP, which will automatically bid for ad space across multiple publishers. The DSP is connected to a data management platform which feeds in audience data to find the perfect match. The two sides connect via an ad exchange. It's like a stock exchange for ad impressions. As soon as a user lands on the page, the SSP puts the impression up for auction. If it matches an advertiser's audience and budget criteria, their DSP will automatically place a bid. The winning bid is shown to the user by the time the page loads. Okay. Let's get back to the bidding process. Real-time bidding, or RTB, is the most popular model because it's fast, easy, and efficient. RTB is an open marketplace where advertisers can set a maximum bid based on their campaign budget. They place bids automatically via a demand-side platform, as we just talked about. Other, more premium options include private marketplaces, where advertisers are handpicked and programmatic guaranteed, which involves one-on-one -on -one negotiation. Now let's look at some best practices for your programmatic campaigns. First up, don't let all this technology turn you into a robot. Dig deep into your audience personas to craft ads that really resonate. Second, invest in your creatives. They are the core of your ad and deserve as much love as you can give. You can use an AI-powered tool like AppsFlyer's creative optimization to keep improving their performance. Finally, mix and match. Programmatic gives you flexibility to experiment with different placements and ad formats. And that's a wrap for programmatic advertising. Just remember these three takeaways. First, programmatic advertising is the automated buying and selling of digital ad space. Second, it's an efficient way of connecting advertisers and publishers, ensuring ads are displayed to the right users. And third, remember to invest in your creatives and experiment with placements and formats. You'll find some useful links in the description below for now, feel free to drop any questions in the comments and remember to subscribe for more videos to help you up your app marketing game. Thanks for watching and see you next time.